Families living along I-26 are feeling drained after meeting another dead end in their fight for noise reduction. Live 5's Caitlin Ashbaugh talked with several of those earlier today about their concerns and efforts to protect their homes. Neighbors say it's becoming impossible to separate commute from community. Yeah, we're here. This is where we chose. And look how it's changing. They're headed back to the drawing board after a call for help on the federal level fell through. We were here first before the development started over there. So we, the old timers, should be taken care of first. Earlier this month, the Department of Transportation announced a $3.3 billion grant to help reconnect communities across the U.S. The homeowners here applied for $15 million of that funding, but it wasn't accepted for the second time. Deserve that up here. We don't have a lot of trouble. We don't have any trouble. Right it was quiet. Washington and Miller say they've always considered these to be their forever homes, but now they're not so sure. What was once comfort now means chaos. Came out one morning with my cup of coffee. And I saw bulldozers out here and trees falling. And I was like, what is going on? The community went for federal assistance after plans started for the Palmetto Commerce Interchange Project. The goal of the construction was to improve traffic patterns and accessibility in the growing metro area. The initial plans cleared several miles of trees that lined the properties and acted as a sound barrier. I used to love to work in my backyard and just plant my flowers. But it's sad now, I can't do it. It's too, it's too open. A study from Charleston County determined much of the community was exceeding normal noise levels for a residential area, but ruled out options for reduction because of costs. Some families say they plan to leave if something isn't done, but for those who don't have the option, the frustration grows. Just listen. Come around here. Come in the evening when people are about 8, time to go to bed. Uh, some people go to bed 9, 10 o'clock. And it's the same noise. The county in a statement said they're aware of the grant announcement and they plan to address the public in a meeting next Wednesday. It'll be at the Northwoods Gym and Community Center starting at 6 o'clock. Reporting in North Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.